Aha! Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Jenkins lectures. Today's lecture is about calculation of creatinine clearance. Creatinine is basically the waste product produced by the muscle tissue when they're producing energy. And creatinine basically gets excreted from the body through kidneys. So creatinine comes into the kidney and they get excreted out of the body. And from here, basically, we can look up the kidney function by seeing how much of this creatinine is being cleared from the body. And we can also look into this in relation to the medications that are actually also excreted from the kidneys outside of the body. So basically, if the kidney is not doing a good job, the creatinine in the body, so in this case, what's gonna happen? Creatinine, if the kidney is not doing a good job, creatinine in the body, it's going to increase. Therefore, this can be accumulation, and the same thing can happen to the medications that are also excreted from the body through the kidneys. So a dose adjustment to such medication will be needed. And we do calculate the creatinine clearance through cockcroft called equation. So this equation is basically, it's the So, this equation is basically one forty minus H, and this is in years. So, H here is basically in years. Multiplying this by the weight in kilograms and dividing this by 72 times serum creatinine. So this is, let me make a correction here. This is a creatinine clearance and it is in milliliter per minute. These are the units for creatinine clearance. So this is for males. So this, this is for males. It's very, very important to notice that when we have a female patient, we need to multiply by a factor of 0.85. Basically, 85% of male creatinine clearance. That's what that is for. So whenever we have a female patient, so this is for female. So this is for females. Whenever we have, what are we going to do? We're going to take the same equation and multiply it by 0.85 and that would be for females. If we have it for males, then we don't need to multiply it by 0.85. So, from this, from this equation, basically, during questions, if you're, you know, preparing for your um, examination, school, or just working in a practice, you would need to calculate the creatinine clearance for patients. And the way that this comes out to be, usually, all these factors, the age in years is given, the serum creatinine will be given. The one thing that you should look after is basically the weight. Because depending on the patient's weight, here it could be a total body weight, it could be ideal body weight, or adjusted body weight. So which of these three are we going to be using for this weight over here? So this whole thing is basically dependent on patient's Let's look over here. So it's depending on basically patient 
formula, let's look into this. So this formula, it's the total body weight. And I did cover this in the previous lecture when I was talking about the different body weights. Total body weight, dividing this by ideal body weight, multiplying by 100%. So from this equation, basically, if we had, so there are three options from this equation. Option number one will be, so, option number one, it's going to be basically if it's less than or equal to 89%, if the after this equation you get the result less than or equal to 89%, this means patient is underweight. Number two, basically if it's 90 to less than 120%, this means normal weight. And for number three, if it's above 120%, any percentage that is above that means that patient is obese. So now we have these three criteria down here following this formula. Basically, what we can say from here, so we have total body weight over here, or this could be actual body weight, so A, B, W, basically the same thing. Let me make this in parentheses. Basically, it's the same thing. And then we have ideal body weight, and then adjusted body weight. So when do I use any of these in this equation. So for total body weight, whenever we have it underweight, when patient is underweight, this means total body weight is less than ideal body weight. So we will always use total body weight for in this case. So if this is a patient, patient is underweight. So whenever patient is underway, which is less than or equal to 89%, we will always use their actual body weight, which is basically the weight when they come in and it's taken on the scale. The ideal body weight, so let me show this. So I did cover this as well in the previous lecture, but let me just go really briefly. So to calculate this basically, uh, let's do it over, let's see, let's do it over here. So. Ideal body weight, basically, there are two formulas. There is one for males and then one for females. So the one for males, basically what it says is 50 kilogram plus parentheses 2.3 kilogram multiplying by the numbers of inches above five feet. So this is multiplying by number of inches above five feet. And then close in the parentheses. For females, the only difference in between these two is basically over here. So it's going to be 45.5 plus 2.3 kilogram, and this is kilogram as well, multiplying by numbers of inches above five feet. So for ideal body weight, when are we going to be using any of these formulas? So we will use any of these if patient is normal weight. So if the percentage is basically between 90 to less than 120. So after the division over here, after this equation, if the answer is any, any percentage between 90 to less than 120, so this is for normal body weight. So let's do this one for less than or equal to 89%. And this is normal body weight, which is 
90 to less than 120%. So anytime we have a percentage that is in between 90 to less than 120, we're using ideal body weight, which is through these two formulas, depending on the patient's gender. Now for adjusted body weight, so this one actually has two criteria. So this one is dependent on the BMI. So if patient BMI is less than 25 or if patient BMI is higher than 25. So if it's less than 25, then we are using the ideal body weight. So we're going to refer to this over here. We're using this, we're not using the adjusted body weight equation in this case. And if it's patient's BMI above 25, then we are using the adjusted body weight. So in this case, we'll, using, we'll be using the adjusted body weight equation. And in this case, in both, in this case actually patient is, let's see over here. So for adjusted body weight, this is basically when patient is obese. So for these situations, this is when patient is obese. So this is when we have a percentage of higher than 120%. So higher than 120%. And let me mention the BMI equation. To calculate the BMI, basically BMI, is weight in kilogram over the height meter and this whole thing's square. So this is the BMI equation. So during examination, basically they'll give you all these factors. They'll give you the age, serum creatinine, and you know, they're gonna let you know if it's a male or female, so you know if you have to multiply by 0.85 or not. The one thing that they're not gonna be clear about is the weight. So you do need to do this calculation in order to come to the correct weight. Because if you don't use the correct weight, your creatinine clearance, it's not going to be the correct one. And if your creatinine clearance is not correct, then your answer is not going to be correct as well, therefore, the dosing for this medication is not gonna be accurate either. So it's really, really important to be able to calculate the correct creatinine clearance for a patient. So this is it for this lecture. If you have any question, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.